which was where they were struggling to pay and it was causing a lot of suffering. Um, Godiva pleaded with Leofric uh, to raise the tax, um, to, you know, to stop taxing the people. Um, he apparently said to her, if you ride naked through the streets of the town, then I will stop the tax. Obviously he didn't expect her to do it, um, but, but apparently she did. Um, the original version of the story says that she covered, her, uh, covered herself with her long hair and then rode naked through the streets and obviously nobody could see anything, she was covered by her hair. Later, um, there was a slightly different version of the story, whereby Godiva issued a proclamation um, before she went on her ride, asking the people of the town to stay indoors and not to peep on her. Um, and this kind of sets the scene, really, for the introduction of the character of Peeping Tom, because, you know, there, there has to be one person who's going to peep uh, in a situation like that, and he is the one who apparently spied on Godiva and was actually struck blind or struck dead, apparently, according to which version. I mean, in terms of recognition of the name, um, it's very high. Everybody's heard of Lady Godiva. Uh, you know, even we get people coming from all over the world to this gallery and they've all heard of her, but very few of them have really got a, a clear idea of, of why she's famous and what she actually did. Some people have a vague idea that she rode naked through the streets, but they don't really know why. Um, so, yes, I think it's right that there is a lot of misunderstandings about it. And, the story um, does have a lot of, of depth to it, I think. It's, it, it's still quite an important story today. Certainly people who come from Coventry um, see Godiva as a very important figure in their history. I mean, the, 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 the real historical Lady Godiva was an important figure. You know, she, she um, gave a lot of money to help found a priory in Coventry, for example, so she was a bit of a benefactor towards the city. But also the Godiva in the story um, I think also did something quite important really. She, she kind of stood up for the rights of the ordinary people, you know, she made a protest for something that she believed in and quite a lot of people think that was a really important and worthwhile thing to do and quite a lot of people who are protesting about something even today invoke the name of Godiva as, as something uh, to support what they're doing. Culture? Yes. Well yes, I mean, uh, most towns have their, have their history, most towns have got famous characters associated with them. I think it's very important to remember the, the cultural history of these and legends and to show what they mean. Well, yeah, I think that's absolutely right. And certainly in, in Coventry terms, um, as I say, the, the legend is still very important for the city. Um, I mean, Coventry people are still, um, you know, quite um, sort of protective about Godiva. Um, the whole issue of, of whether the, the ride, the naked ride, actually took place or not, whether it's just an invention of one medieval chroniclers is something that is still quite a sensitive issue in Coventry. I mean in this gallery for example we, we examine the, the evidence for the, the, the story and whether the ride could have taken place but we don't, um, we don't come down firmly on one side or the other as to whether the ride was, was feasible or not and actually one of the interactives that we've got in the gallery asks people to vote themselves as to whether they think the ride could have taken place. So we're not saying yes this happened or, or no this definitely didn't happen because because of those sort of sensitivities I suppose. Thank you for your time. That's okay. Good. Well, she was very forthcoming in riding through Coventry with no clothes on, wasn't she? Just yeah, about taxes, I think, wasn't it? Yes. It's about taxes because her husband was overtaxing his people. Yes, that's right. So what do you think symbolically that would mean for the people of the of the city? Oh, I don't know really. I think she was just willing to bear her all to try and get her point across. Mm. Yeah. Do you think there's a uh, inherent love for the? Uh, the legacy of Godiva in the city? I think so, yes. I think she was a sort of campaigner and an activist. Yeah. How would you describe that significance? Um, she was a sort of symbol of democracy, I suppose. In a very literal way, I think. Yeah, she kind of, yeah, and she, she knew how to um, get um, sort of 
notoriety and celebrity to get her point across as well. Yeah, yeah. she was clever. Yeah, Do you think she has a, a lot of value to the people of the city? I think we, we're fond of her and we, yeah, that, that she's kind of um, <laughs> held quite dear, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that everybody would know why she rode naked across Coventry, actually. I'm not sure how, how many people now know that. Yes, we believe that this, this painting uh, is the origin of the, the, the character of Peeping Tom. Um, this painting um, is by a Dutch artist called Adam Van Noort. Um, dates from the 16th century and it's been in Coventry, on display in Coventry for well hundreds of years really, probably since the time it was painted. And the story goes that in the um, 1600s a group of soldiers came to Coventry from Norwich and they saw this painting and wrote about it afterwards and one of them made reference to a character um, peeping on Lady Godiva or spying on Lady Godiva from a window in one of the buildings in the painting. And you can actually see uh, the character in this window here. Um, and that was the first time, really, that the whole notion of somebody spying on Godiva um, had, had been raised.